Hey guys, Ligonius here. Today we're going to do a little bit of Lego math, specifically dealing with perfect diagonals. Okay, so what is a perfect diagonal? A perfect diagonal is when you can place a Lego brick diagonally on your build and it'll still connect to two studs. You can see we're working on a build for LIU Atlas Tilum Texeris. Uh, there are several buildings that we don't want them all facing the same way. So we're uh, offsetting them slight angles diagonally, but they're still attached to the board, uh, even though they're diagonal. So what are these perfect diagonals? The easiest perfect diagonal is the six stud long diagonal. Uh, we usually just start off with a two by two tile in the middle. And then if you count off two and then put a plate on each of the corners, it makes a perfect six wide base. So you could put a six by six plate connected to these studs diagonally on your build. So we're going to use the six stud wide a few times this build, but the majority of them we're going to be doing something bigger. So we've built these 12 by 12 little huts that we're going to be putting at different angles on the board. There is no perfect diagonal for 12 studs, but there is one for 11. If you zoom into this dark gray building here, you'll see that uh, we use the 11 stud perfect diagonal for the base of that one. And you'll note that it's not uh, on the very corner. It's one stud off because it's only 11 wide and this is a 12 wide building. Okay. The easiest way to do it, any kind of diagonal build would be just to put a turntable and you could attach a brick on there and you could orient your build however you like. Uh, there are some drawbacks to using this technique. For one, it's not very stable, and because it moves, your build may shift. It may not stay the direction that you want it to point. There's also an issue of balance. You would need to put tile down underneath this brick to keep it from shifting and rocking back and forth. So while it's an option, it's not very stable, and that's why we don't use it very often. Utilizing the perfect diagonals is a lot more stable. As we've shown earlier, we have the six stud wide. It's represented here by the bright green plates. It's a perfect six studs long. A one by six brick would fit there perfectly. The next step up is a little bit more difficult. To go to a 11 studs long, the plates cannot sit directly on a stud. They need to go in between four of them. Uh, the easiest way to, to kind of get this one is to make the six stud perfect diagonal and then count off three bricks down and then put it into the uh, square in the middle there. And as you can see, we got a one by 12 brick here and it fits perfectly across the uh, orange plates we have there. It's 11 studs long. So there's actually part of the brick hanging off. So the red plates represent where the, uh, the perfect diagonal for 14 studs. The purple plates uh, represent a perfect 16 studs long. So I have to move one of these red ones here, but a one by 16 brick fits perfectly across and it's stable. The blue plates on here are 18 stud perfect diagonals. The lime greens are 21 stud perfect diagonals and then the pink would be 26 stud long perfect diagonals as it gets a little bit longer it's not as not as useful because there's not uh, bricks or plates that are that long but we've shown you here just for fun so i'm sure there's some kind of lego math you could do to figure out what these perfect diagonals are uh, but one easy way to find it would to just put a one by one plate at the end of a brick attach it to your baseboard and just rotate it around until you find a perfect match. Uh, you can use with that with different size bricks to find all the different uh, perfect diagonals. Okay, so that's your Lego math for today. Those are all the perfect diagonals, at least that we use, and we don't even utilize the higher ones uh, very often. Like I said before, usually limited to the uh, 6, 11, and sometimes we use the 16 perfect diagonals. All right, we need to get back to our build. We're going to be utilizing these perfect diagonals that we just discussed to shift the buildings different directions. Uh, if you want more previews of the episode, you can join us on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Uh, for little as $1 a month, you get access to our patrons-only feed where we share previews of upcoming episodes. 
So be sure to check it out. Every once in a while, we'll even throw in some uh, free images. They're available to the general public. So even if you don't want to sign up, it's a good idea to check it out every once in a while. One last big shout out to Big B Bricks and Bricks Anywhere. Uh, we had some purchases lately. We're utilizing a lot of them for this build. So thank you guys. Go and check them out. There's also a link to their stores down in the description. All right, so we're getting back to work. Thanks for joining us. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. I'm gonna have to math the sh this.